Moshi Moshi! What's going on guys, your boy Uchi, and I am here today to do a little bit of an unboxing. Okay, it's not a little bit of an unboxing. It is an unboxing. And what we got for you today, if you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram, you have noticed this picture. I had this, and I haven't revealed what it is yet. So, without further ado, I'm about to show y'all what your boy got from GameStop. Now, I just want to say this. I want to point out that I just so casually went in, and my intention for my GameStop visit this time around was to simply make a pre-order on Ultra Moon version coming out very soon to the 3DS. On a whim, I saw something in the corner of my eye, and I was like, yo, what is that? And my good friend, where's that GameStop? He told me, hey, man, that's a freaking controller for the Super NES classic and i was like wait so they got controllers for that and he's like yeah we actually have one you have one so of course the rest is history we got the super nes super nes super nes we got that oh stop now, the best part about this is that I did not have to kill nobody. I didn't have to stand in no line. I didn't have to freaking threaten no one's life. I didn't have to insult no one's mama because they have been super limited. And it just so happens that at the at that exact precise moment, I found out afterwards, later that weekend, these are apparently becoming more available, which is a good thing. So you, go ahead, go check your game stops and see if you got one yourself. So this right here, I'm just gonna show you guys what comes in the contents. I actually have no prior um, knowledge as to what to expect out of this. So everything just comes neatly in this box right here. I'm obviously gonna keep the box because you know how your boy does. This looks like a little manual. Like your usual manual, it might be a poster. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely instructions right here, but it, it comes in the form of a poster at the same time, so I was not wrong. Here's what the poster looks like. All right, so you get to see all the games that come on here. And then on the back side, you have all of the instructions in multiple languages. This is a warranty agreement information. Obviously, this is some standard stuff that you'll find in just about any console packaging. So here is what's left in the box. We got the power cord. Um, this is probably the end of that. And then two controllers, which is nice. So it comes with two controllers. So that's pretty dope. Now, I want to say this for anyone that's watching. This is actually the obvious North American version. But Japan, of course, I'm always going to be jealous. They got the Super Famicom Classic Edition. And I would much rather that than this one specifically because I'm more of a fan of the Super Famicom. Be oh, this is nice. Damn, it even feels like the original SNES controller too. But back to what I was saying, and in relation to the controller, the buttons. All right, I like the purple, bar purple bar. <coughs> the Super Famicom buttons are more colorful. We got a uh, yellow, red, green, and blue mapping. And I just like how it says Super Famicom, it's a little different, you know? Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, I don't know. Tomato, tomato, it's all the same at the end of the day, but it's just a preference. So, what I'm trying to say, if y'all can find me the controller type for Super Famicom for my Super NES Classic, please send them my way or let me know where they're at and then I'll try to get one. We got a special kind of plug-in. Now, this actually looks a little familiar and if I'm not mistaken, this actually looks like the end that you would plug into a Wiimote, which I don't even know if those are even used anymore, to be honest. So I'm not going to open both of them because obviously they're two of the same controllers. So here you go. This is the power adapter right here, right? And this is a USB that goes, I believe it's a micro. It's what it looks like. I can, from what I can tell, opening that John up right here. Oh no, that's USB-C, wow, okay. So USB-C right here. So we got USB-C is gonna go into the freaking Super NES and then the USB, bam, right in here. So here's the power cord right here. So I'm gonna keep that together. And then of course, they're gonna be the nice people that they are sometimes and give us a stock HDMI cable and you know how that goes right here. It's always good to have extra, extra HDMI cables. You never know when you're gonna use them. Now the final thing here, obviously the main event of this unboxing is the Super NES Classic. And wow, look at that. This is actually really sick. I'm holding a updated version of a console that I, yes, I own one myself. It's actually downstairs. And even, oh my God, like, this is cool. It has the freaking, the, the latches. 
So you hit up on the power to put the power on the reset John right here to reset the games and then if I'm whoa, If I'm not mistaken, you could just oh, that's that's pretty dull. I'm not gonna lie So it keeps the aesthetic of the actual uh, Super NES from back in the day You have your controller port if you were to pretend like you had the original controllers um, That would have been interesting if they actually kept that feature in and if you could actually use your classic original super nintendo controllers super famicom controllers and voila now i know that some of the other controllers that i mentioned from earlier they act they might be wireless so if you guys want to see any wireless johns let me know or send them there's a p.o box in my description below that'd be a nice early christmas present <laughs> and i'll definitely open those and test those out for you guys so i can try them out on the channel and definitely if you are wondering am i going to be streaming this you bet your ass i will because there's 30 games i believe that come packaged within this console itself now for any questions i'll just debunk them right now can you add other games to this no are there certain games on here and that's it yes can you use super nintendo controllers from back in the day no but you could pretend and just ain't gonna work can you play your original cartridge games from super nintendo no this john do not open you can try and mess around with it and pretend all you want but it doesn't is there any kind of ports on the back other than the hdmi and the usb c no you can only plug hdmi in and you can only unplug the usb c and for the power right in there there is no optical there is no extra usb or anything else there's no Wi-Fi in this, John. So, unfortunately, that would have been cool of them to do, to add that kind of little feature to add some, like, multiplayer online. Because, you know, Mario Kart, I believe, is on here. That is the Super Nintendo Classic Edition right here. The Mini, for those that call it. And for just a quick reminder, this is what you're getting right here. Two of these, an HDMI cable and the power cable, of course, alongside your usual instructions and warranty agreement uh within the box someone find out for me if i'm sure it is possible that if i can get the super famicom controllers because that would be great yo matter of fact one better for y'all if there's a super fam i know there's a super famicom version of this i want it i want it i'll do another boxing unboxing video for that john send it my way let me know where it's at let me know what you guys thought about this though in the comments below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter let me know what you guys thought about it in the discord especially on the discord make sure you follow me on twitch you could talk to me while i play this and if you didn't already know, we just passed 12,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So if every single one of y'all was a patron for only a dollar, I could do more videos like this full time, every time, full time. And I'll see y'all next time.